Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. We're currently in San Francisco, where I'm now delighted to be joined by Dustin Van our Chief Product and Technology Officer at Capital One Software, along with Christian Kleinerman, EVP of Product at Snowflake. Gentlemen, really looking forward to this conversation. So happy to be here, Ryan. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here. It's my second time with you. And uh, it's exciting to be with you, Christian. Yeah, we, we love the partnership with you. I think you and I have known each other for a number of years, so great to be here with you. Absolutely. Looking forward to diving in. Jessica, to start, for over 25 years, Capital One has been at the forefront of innovating with data to personalize experiences for 100 million customers. Now you're leading the way in offering enterprise scale tech that helps businesses manage their data at scale with Capital One Software. How does the Capital One Data Foundation influence the decision that Capital One Software is making to serve its customers? Yeah, that's a great question. See, let's start with what you mentioned. You mentioned uh, personalized user experiences for over 100 million right. customers. Now what makes Capital One good at doing that, right? It comes down to how we manage data and how we utilize data. And it's been in our DNA since our very, very first customer, credit card customer in 1994. So I'm rolling back the clock a little bit here. Since then, right, we have upgraded our infrastructure. We have moved to the public cloud, first bank to do this uh, at our scale. And then we have adopted some amazing data platforms like Snowflake, right? So that we've done all of that. What we realized at that point is, as a company that's highly regulated with the scale that we have, we couldn't find the right set of data management tools to go ahead and uh, you know, address all our needs to do what we wanted to do. So what we did at that time is we went and built a bunch of these tools, right? To manage infrastructure, for data management, for data governance, for data security. We did all of that. And then when we started talking to other companies, what we realized was a lot of these companies had the same problems. Right. And what we had actually solved most of the problems that they had. So that was the initial inspiration for how we go uh, and commercialize the software that we have built, right? So that's where it started. And uh, ever since, after that, right, uh, we've worked very, very closely. In fact, the very first product that we commercialized, Slingshot, we've talked about yeah, it before, absolutely. was one tool that we built internally right. to drive adoption of Snowflake efficiently within the enterprise. And that turned into a commercial offering. Ever since that, we've been working very closely together uh, with customers as well as partners like Snowflake to figure out what should the next thing be. So that's been the, the progress. The data foundations and the platforms that underpin that provide much of the raw material for what we commercialize. So it's a combination of that and amazing feedback from customers and partners got us to where we are right now. You know, it's wonderful to hear it. I'm so mentioned, you you mentioned the longevity of the partnership. Christian, tell us about the, this partnership with Capital One. How did it begin and how has this combined partnership served as really the gold standard for helping Snowflake users achieve their business outcomes? Yeah, definitely, uh, as Desika was saying, they are, Capital One is incredibly forward thinking on the adoption of technology and the smart usage of data. Like, uh, in some ways you could say you're half a financial institution and half a data company. And they were very early adopters of Snowflake. And very quickly, they figured out where we could jointly find opportunities to add more value. We get a, a regular stream of feedback from Capital One on how we can improve our platform, our technology. We love that part of the, of the partnership, but also, Frequently, Capital One has gone and figured out how to best operate Snowflake, how to best get the value out of Snowflake, whether it's on pure administration and total cost of ownership, or how do you bring compliance and security. And that has been the foundation of Snowflake. Capital One figures out how to solve their own needs in regards to Snowflake. They build technology and IP, and I think that's what leads to Capital One software having technology that is like ready for the market because it's already validated by an amazing user of the technology saying, we know the problem, we understand the solution, here's how you can help others. It's, it's wonderful to hear and, it, and it's ever evolving and Capital One Software recently launched its second product called Data Vault in April. Tell us about what Data Vault does and how is it designed to help businesses address the growing security challenges? Yeah, absolutely. And I'll take you from what Christian mentioned. He said, we build a lot of software, including data security and data yeah. privacy, and that's where this product focuses on, right? So what is Databolt? Quick, you know, said quickly, it's our data privacy solution from Capital One Software that securely and safely allows customers to go and get value out of that data, 
Right. It's not about securing the data lock and key. It's about how do we maximize value out of the data? Because that's what is in our DNA. That's what we have done, right? Now, before we get into exactly what it does, it's good to look at a problem. Mm. I would call this like the triple tsunami. The first one is billions of dollars in perimeter security, still large data breaches are growing exponentially year over year. Seems like it's very, very difficult to avoid, right? So that's one thing. And number two is regulations focused on data privacy and data security at the federal and at the state levels are also growing exponentially year over year. Yeah. Now, growing. if you're a company that's regulated, these two are enough to really cause you a lot of concern. Now add to this number three, which is adoption of AI, specifically Gen AI, way more data. Mm. All of this data is sloshing around. All of this data is being shared between enterprises. Now all of a sudden your perimeter has gone up substantially. So that is a real challenge. There's never been a bigger challenge than it is now. And if you look at the existing solution space, the most common things that people do, large companies, is they mask or redact their data. Essentially, they alter their data permanently. Now, if you are a bank or a financial services company that's doing fraud detection, right. or if you're doing a healthcare, if you're a healthcare company that's trying to price health insurance, you actually need that data. There is value in that data, right? So using redaction means you're permanently lost value. So we looked at this and said, this doesn't work for us. And we went back to our drawing books like we have done before and said, we got to build something. Mm. So we built our tokenization solution internally that we have now commercialized as a second product, Databook. What it does is it replaces all of the sensitive data in your data estate with tokens that are format preserving, behavior preserving, and reversible. When you do that, what the two things that happen. Number one, if you get breached, people get tokens. So your actual risk of sensitive data exposure comes down. In fact, our internal goal is to make every breach worthless. Mm. Right? So that's what we're trying to do. The second thing that it does is because of its behavior, it actually preserves most of the value of the original raw data itself. So you can do AI, you can do analytics, you can do all kinds of use cases and have far better outcomes than using masked or redacted data. So this is turning out to be, we already deployed it at scale at Capital One, huge value. And we are now deploying it at other customers. So it's turning out to be, you know, perfect solution for the perfect time. And the partnership with Snowflake is amazing because that's where the innovation is happening. And we are helping unblock and accelerate that innovation. It's wonderful to hear. And I want to bring it now to the current day. We're, we're surrounded by the AI Data Cloud ecosystem here at Snowflake Summit. Number of announcements coming out this week. And, and Data Vault is now available as a Snowflake native app, meaning Snowflake users can tokenize their data directly in their Snowflake environment. Well, how does this announcement serve to better deliver value to your joint ecosystem? Deskin, why don't we continue with you? Yeah, I know Christian will have a lot of things to say, but let me start by saying this is probably one of the most exciting things we have done, okay? What is this actually? This product is now built natively on the Snowflake application frameworks and it runs in Snowpark container services, right? What this means is all our tokenization, detokenization operations happen within the customer Snowflake instance itself, nothing least. We are in fact the only data privacy provider that cannot do this, where the data never leaves a customer Snowflake instance to go somewhere else to make a call to get tokenized or detokenized. It's within the security boundary. Within the security boundary. So now that's the key thing. The two big benefits. Number one, Christian just mentioned, being inside means being inside the security boundary. Not just simple, it's more secure. Number two, this is very, very interesting, is typically all these calls out have huge overhead related to latency, network latencies and other things. Because we are doing it internally, this is probably the most efficient way to do it. So the latency performance scalability characteristics we are getting running on Snow, uh, Snowpark uh, container services is way better and really the exact thing that you need for current AI inference use cases and other use cases, inline analytics, all of the use cases that are coming, this is the perfect solution. So I'm really, really excited by the partnership that we have. I think this is the way uh, you know, the customers are going to adopt it. And most importantly, I'm excited that we will now play a part in customers accelerating their snowflake journey to use you know, sensitive information in AI use cases. So it's a fantastic win-win-win uh, partnership. I absolutely love it. And Christian, from your seat. Yeah, so, so uh, everything that the second just mentioned is, is part of what we want to enable. We build extensibility, things like Snowpark container services, things like native apps, just to enable a healthy ecosystem of partners that augment and complement Snowflake, there is no way we're gonna go build what everyone on this floor is doing. 
There is one advantage Capital One Software has and that you can have, which is they are the startup, so to speak, that can very easily get one of the largest banks in the world to be a customer zero. So the needs are validated, the solution is validated. So when, when Capital One Software puts a solution in Snowflake Marketplace, we know that this thing is legit, it's hardened, it can scale. That's what we're so excited about what we're doing in Data Vault. I love it, a lot of momentum. Now I wanna to look toward, towards the future. What can we expect from the next evolution of this partnership between Capital One Software and Snowflake respectively? Christian, why don't we stay with you? I, I think we just keep doing what we've been doing for, I think it's like eight or nine years, right. which is as Capital One, as a customer of Snowflake, sees opportunities to complement the platform, that is feeding ideas and opportunity for Capital One Software and we work together to make sure that we can position solutions together and we can go to market together. Like even many of the announcements that happened here at Snowflake Summit, things like Gen 2, I already heard the conversation. Could Capital One Software help me make the decision of when do I move here versus not? So as we're innovating, we value the close partnership and relationship with Capital One so we can go and help our mutual customers get value of those innovations. Yeah. That's exactly right. I, look, I've been doing this for a very long time. Uh, we've not, I've not had a partner like I have at Snowflake, right? So since 2016, nine years, we've been at it as a customer, early adopter customer to one of the largest adopters of Snowflake. And now as a partner, building solutions together. I'm most excited about how we can deliver and accelerate all of the innovation that Snowflake's bringing to a bit broader range of customers. So that's what we do internally. Right. Now we can take it to everybody. So that's what I'm most excited by. And it's a fantastic partnership. It's good time for our customers. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes next, gentlemen. It's such a pleasure sitting down with both of you. Thank you for having us. And I love the partner, Desigan. Thank you very much, Christian. Yeah. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon.